This is Symmetry Notes, part two. And yesterday we were talking about uh, symmetric with respect to the y-axis, which means that we're working with an even function, and symmetric with respect to the origin, which means, sorry, symmetric with respect to the origin, which means an odd function. And the memory technique that I use is origin starts with O and odd starts with O. And it's a good place to start from where we left off yesterday because yesterday we were identifying is this graph odd, even, or neither. And that's what we're, where we're going to start today as well. We looked at this first graph that's to the far left. Is this graph odd, which means symmetric with respect to the origin? Well, hopefully you're saying no, because one of the things that happens when something is symmetric with respect to the origin is that the graph needs to go through the origin. And in this particular case, it does not go through the origin. Also, we can look and see, is it an even function, which means is it symmetric with respect to the y-axis? Well, if we fold this graph along the y-axis, the right half of the graph does not land on the left half of the graph. This is an example of neither. <laughs> and close to the end of class yesterday, we talked about a function that was kind of sort of like this. And what we said is, in order to determine its symmetry, we want to look at that middle part of the graph. One thing to point out on this middle part of the graph is that it does go through the origin. And the question is, because it goes through the origin, is it an odd function? And the answer is yes. Just to be a little bit more specific here, if I look at this point right there, and it's maybe a little bit off. That point is 1, 5. And if we have the point 1, 5 on our graph, for it to be symmetric with respect to the origin, we need to negate that entire point. And what I mean by that is if we have 1, 5 on there, then we need to look for a point of negative 1 and negative 5. So we have to change the sign on both the 1 and the 5. And as we look over here, the question is, do we have the point negative 1, negative 5 on a graph? And we do. And that's one way to look, just kind of try to find a couple of points. And if they are completely negated, then we get an odd function. As we look to our third graph here, to the far right, did I follow a pattern? Again, as we look at this third graph, the graph to the far right, did I follow a pattern? We've got an example of a neither. We've got an example of an odd. So the question to you is, is this graph even? Even means symmetric with respect to the y-axis. And if we fold this graph along the y-axis, the right half of the graph would land exactly on top of the left half of the graph. So this is an even function. So now what we have to do, I'm going to pause the video for a moment to give you a chance to go back to the parent functions packet. And we're going to determine uh, whether each one of the functions is even, odd, or neither a part that we didn't fill in earlier on. So we're going back to our parent function notes, and we did not fill in whether these functions were even or odd or neither on here. So we need to go back. We've got our pictures drawn in, and now that we know that even means symmetric with respect to the uh, y-axis and odd means symmetric with respect to the origin, we can try to identify what these uh, functions are. 
So if we look at the first one, our identity function, f of x equals x, or y equals x, if you prefer, is this graph symmetric with respect to the y-axis, and therefore even? No. Is it symmetric with respect to the origin, and therefore off? And what happens is that this one does happen to be odd. Notice that it goes through the origin, and we have a point like 2, 2, and then we have completely negated, negative 2, negative 2. We have 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. The other question here that we might, might as well answer is, is this function 1 to 1? And the definition of 1 to 1 is that no x's repeat, no y's repeat, and the test that we use is the horizontal line test. Do we pass the horizontal line test in this graph? And we do. So it not only is an odd function, but it's 1 to 1. Our square function, y equals x squared. As we take a look at this, if we fold right down the middle, down the y-axis, the right side of our graph will land on the left side of our graph, which means that this function is even. The question then becomes, is it one to one? And what we can see is we have a one that repeats. We have a four that repeats. We have a nine that repeats. There, x's cannot repeat, and y's cannot repeat for us to have a one-to-one -one function. It fails the, the horizontal line test. Our cubic function. Is it even? Symmetric with respect to the y-axis? Well, if we fold that graph along the y, the right side of the graph does not land on the left side, so it's not even. But when we take a closer look at the points here, we have the point 1, 1, and we also have the point negative 1, negative 1. Again, with respect to the odd function, we have a point, and then we have a point that's completely opposite signs, which we have in both of these, negative 2, negative 8, and positive 2, positive 8. Negative 1, negative 1, and positive 1, positive 1. This function is odd. Is it 1, 2, 1? And it also is one to one. It passes the horizontal line test. The quartic function, y equals x to the fourth. Well, the quartic function reminds us, in fact, we've oftentimes mixed it up with the square function. Was the square function even or odd? It was even. And guess what? So is the quartic. If we fold our graph, even though it's a tough one to draw, if we fold that graph right down the y-axis, the right side of the graph will land on the left side. Is it one-to-one? -one? Well, no, just like the square function, if we draw our horizontal line, we're going to touch it more than once, so it is not a one-to-one -one function. Also, the 16s repeat, the 1s repeat. Absolute value function. Absolute value is uh, similar in points to the quadratic in some regards, I guess. But as we look at it, if we fold this graph right down the middle along the y-axis, what will happen is that the right side of our graph will land on the left side of our graph, which means that we are an even function. But if we draw a horizontal line through our function, we will touch the graph more than once. And because of that, we are not one to one. Reciprocal function, y equals one over x. The question is, is it even, odd, or <coughs> neither? And this one is a little bit different from the perspective that what I said a few minutes ago is that when it's an odd function, we typically go through the origin. But in this particular case, 
we are not going to have a point that's on the origin. But this graph does happen to be odd. It's an odd function. And let's go back and look at the points here. And I don't have all of them listed off here in the table. But what we have is we have negative 1, negative 1. And we have positive 1, positive 1. And those points are equal distance away from the origin. We also have this point 2, 1 half. Well, we have this point negative 2, negative 1 half also. And again, what happens when something is symmetric with respect to the origin is we have a point. And then we have a point that's completely negated, which means that the signs change. So this one is odd, even though we don't go through the origin with a particular, with a point. But then the other question is, is this function one to one? Well, no matter what horizontal line we draw, we're never going to cross more than once. So it is one to one. Trying to speed it up a little bit. Um, we're always looking for even or odd, but we can have a neither. Again, even is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, odd is symmetric with respect to the origin. And as we look at this picture here, we don't have either situation. We do have 0, 0 as one of the points, but that's not the only criteria for determining something's odd. So we have these points, 0, 0, 1, 1, um, 4, 2, 9, 3. We don't deal with anything over here to the left of that. So we can't completely negate that. So it's definitely not odd. And if we fold our graph right down the y-axis, we don't have any other side for our graph to land on. So this one's going to be a neither. But if we draw a horizontal line, it is um, one one. root function? Well, this one always reminds me of y equals x cubed. And the thing is, y equals x cubed was symmetric with respect to the origin, and so was the cubed root of x. Once again, notice the negated points. Negative 8, negative 2. Positive 8, positive 2. Negative 1, negative 1. Positive 1, positive 1. The other part here is, is it one-to-one? -one? Yes, because it can draw a horizontal line, and it's never going to touch the graph more than once. <laughs> Exponential function. Even, not symmetric with respect to the y. Odd, not symmetric with respect to the origin. But this one's neither. But it is one to one. The horizontal line is never going to touch that graph more than one place. Logarithmic function. Same kind of situation here. We have all our points to the right of the y axis. So if we flip or if we fold our graph right down where the, that dotted line, that green dotted line is, we don't have anything to land over on the other side. As well as, um, we don't have negated point. We've got one zero and we have ten one. There's no negated value there. So this is another example of neither even nor odd. But if we draw a horizontal line, we will never cross that graph more than once, so it is one to one. The natural log function, it's one of them that we were getting mixed up with when we were doing LOG log and then natural log here. Well, the same situations are going to occur. They're similar looking graphs, 
And what happens is it's not even, it's not symmetrical with respect to the water, it's not odd, it's symmetrical with respect to the origin. It's neither, but it still is going to be one to one. Horizontal line passes only once. The greatest integer function, double brackets there. Um, as we take a look at this picture, um, remember to determine whether it's um, symmetric with respect to the y-axis, which is even, we would fold the graph right down the y-axis. And when we fold it, we're not going to land on whatever's on the other side of it. But what we have here, what we look for with respect to odd, first of all, we do see that we do have the point zero, zero on there. But do we have a completely negated point on here? Well, we have one, one. And we also have negative one, negative one. If we look at our graph, we have we have two, two, and we have negative two, negative two. We have three, three, and we have negative three, negative three. So we do have completely negated points, which means that this function is odd. But is it one to one? No. With these steps, our horizontal line is going to touch more than once. As we get close here to our other important functions that don't have any names, when we look at this one, is it even? If we fold our graph along the y-axis, will the right side land on the left side? Yes, it's even. But is it one to one? No. If we draw a horizontal line, it's going to cross more than once. Our 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Our speed bump function, if we look at this, again, our first test is, if we fold it along the y-axis, will the right side land on the left side? And it will. This one's even. Is it 1 to 1? It is not. If you draw a horizontal line at y equals 1 half, it will touch more than once. We cannot have any y's repeat. If we look over here in our table, one-fifth, two of those y's repeat. One-half, we've got it listed more than once. No x's can repeat for one-to-one. -one. No y's can repeat for one-to-one. Are -one. Uh, the square root of one minus x squared? Well, this one, if we fold it along the y-axis, the left side, sorry, the right side's going to land on the left, so it's even. But it's not going to pass there for the one-to-one. -one. Oops, and I was thinking there was one more, but there was the last one there of our parent functions. going to pause the video one more time to get back to our other notes. So now we're back to our, our notes on symmetry. As we um, look at our next problem here, what we want to do is we want to apply what we've been talking about. The fact that an even function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis and an odd function is symmetric with respect to the origin. So what worked earlier in the day, and I hope that it works for you, is to take a look at these points on the graph. And the points that I see on the graph are 0, 0, negative 2, 2, and 4, sorry, negative 4, 8. So we want to draw a function that's off. And it says plot all corresponding key per points that are marked. Well, if it's an odd function, what's going to happen is that the points are going to be completely negated. And when we negate 0, 0, it's still going to be 0, 0. But when we negate negative 2, 2, the negative 2 becomes positive 2, and the positive 2 becomes negative 2. And the negative 4, 8, negative 4 becomes 
positive 4, and the positive 8 becomes negative 8, and then we can draw a picture. In general, I don't plot, I don't list the points. I think, though, that I found it was helpful earlier in the day today. So, 0, 0, 2, negative 2, and 4, negative 8. And there's the other half of our function, so it's odd. Just an aside, if you think back, what we had on the very front page of our notes is we, we said if xy is on the graph, then negative x, negative y is on the graph. That's the odd idea. Same beginning values, so it's still 0, 0 and negative 2, 2, and negative 4, 8, but this time we want to draw an even function. So the graph needs to be symmetric with respect to the y-axis, and what happens here for an even function is that it's x, y, and then it's going to be negative x, y. That's what we had on the front page of our notes. So 0, 0, once again, stays 0, 0. In other words, with that x, y, and the negative x, y, the x value of the point changes signs. So negative 2, 2 becomes positive 2, 2. Negative 4, 8 becomes positive 4, 8. And then we graph the, our function so that we've got even. Positive 2, 2. Positive 4, 8. And there's the other half of our graph. If you take a quick look at this one, especially, our negative 2, 2 is two spaces away from the y-axis. On the other side, our 2, 2 is two spaces away from the y-axis. Negative 4, 8 is four spaces away from the y-axis. And positive 4, 8 is four spaces away from the y-axis. Let us see. We want to draw this so that it's not um, odd, nor is it even. And originally what I was doing with that is I was drawing it symmetric with respect to the x-axis. But when it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis, is it a function? No. So I just drew something random here. I actually did end up going through, when I drew it, through 2, 2, and I went something like this. And I wanted to go far enough there, away from negative 4, 8. I didn't want to have negative 4, 8 anywhere on the graph. So here's another picture. You want to finish the graph so that it's going to be an odd function. Odd means symmetric with respect to the origin. When we look at our points in this particular case. We've got 0, 0. We have negative 2, 4. And we have negative 3, 0. And remember when something is symmetric with respect to the odd, we negate the entire point. And 0, 0 is not going to change. But negative 2, 4 is going to become positive 2, negative 4. And negative 3, 0 is going to become positive 3, 0. And we draw the picture. 0, 0. 2, negative 4. And 3, 0. And, sorry, it's doesn't look very pretty, but you get the idea there. Hopefully your picture is better than mine. So if we look at the even function, still the same points here. We have 0, 0, and negative 2, 4, and negative 3, 0. If we want it even, 
we need to only negate the x x the x value of the, our order pair and once again zero zero is not going to change but negative two four is going to become positive two four and negative three zero is going to become positive three zero and we draw a picture so zero zero two four and three zero and remember the whole idea behind even is if we fold this graph along the y-axis will the right side land directly on top of the left side so you can do a visual check to see if you are correct when we get to our neither once again draw something random completely random but make sure that you don't have the point negative 2 negative 4 on there or positive 3 0 on there you just want a function so it still needs to pass the vertical line test we just don't want it to be odd or even but one more idea here that we can use to reinforce the idea of symmetry and that is that we want to actually come up with a picture uh, for these types of functions the first one being a quadratic so we need to remember what does quadratic look like it's our square function and there's a very rough sketch of what it looks like but well, we want this to be even so even means symmetric with respect to the y-axis and we want it to have a y-intercept of 4. So there's our y-intercept of 4. It's got to be in the shape of one of these two really rough sketches that I just drew. And what I did is I put a point of negative 2, 0 and positive 2, 0 on there. And in fact, I also put a point of one, negative 1, 3 and positive 1, 3 on there. Keep in mind, that's not the only answer. You could have had a right side up quadratic. But that there is a situation where if we fold the graph along the y-axis, will the right side land on the left side? Yes. And does it have a y-intercept of 4? Yes. Another one where we've got a quadratic that's neither even nor odd but it passes through the origin so we still have to have the origin on this one and what we can do is I put a value over here at negative 4 I also graph the point negative 2 negative 4 along with negative 1 negative 3 and negative 3 negative 3 You get a quadratic that's neither even nor off if we fold this graph down along the y-axis the right side's not going to land on the left side we don't have points that are completely negated we don't since we have that point negative one negative three we don't have a point on the graph that's positive one positive three so there's an example of a quadratic that's neither an even cubic function so going back to the parent functions again there's a very rough sketch of a cubic function and we need to draw it so that's even and even means that if we fold it along the y-axis the right side of the graph will land on the left side of the graph well can we ever change that so that the right side is going to land on the left and because we cannot it does not exist. If you look back in the directions, it says 
write DNE if you can't draw it. And that stands for does not exist. And lastly, an odd function that passes through the point 3, 2. Well, here comes 3, 2. And if we have the point 3, 2 on the graph, then we need to completely negate it. We also have this point negative 3, negative 2. And when we're dealing with the odd function, we need to, if at all possible, there's some little nuances there, but also going to go through the origin. And there's our graph. An odd function that has to do with point three two.